You now have one more choice in Decision 2010. The governor's race getting another official candidate today. Lansing Mayor Verge Bernero throwing his hat into the ring for the Democratic nomination. 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Alvin joining us now on set with more on Decision 2010. You point out he's the mayor. He served as a state representative. He's also served as a state senator. But Bernero is positioning himself as an outsider, running against Lansing. Standing in the doorway of a Grand Rapids fire station, Bernero said the current leadership in the state's just not getting the job done. Sure. They've presided over budget debacle after budget debacle and state government shutdowns in two out of the last three years, sure. while our beloved state climbed to the top of the list for unemployment and foreclosures. The political ambitious Bonero was said to be eyeing the governor's race before Lieutenant Governor John Cherry decided to run, but as Michigan Democratic, uh, not to run for the uh, Michigan Democratic uh, party nomination. The chairman of that party uh, told us just a couple of weeks ago on To the Point that Cherry's absence changed everything. Our race is wide open. I don't think there's a favorite, Rick. And I, as I told a group of uh, voters in West Bloomfield last night, Democrats I went to go see, uh, it's a very exciting time to be a Democrat. Uh, it's a wide open field. We've got a people from a wide variety of backgrounds. Uh, and it's going to be exciting to figure out who's going to be our nominee. Bonero joins Alma Wheeler-Smith as the only other officially announced candidate. Denise Illich, Andy Dillon, Bob Bowman, and Dan Kildee are all others considering a run. For the GOP, Mike Cox, Mike Bouchard, Rick Snyder, Tom George, Peter Hoekstra, and Tim Rujan, all vying for that nomination. Field for governor is still open with filing deadline months away. More names could pop up, and some that are circulating now are most certain to fade between now and then.